Well, I just moved the cold to mulcher and I'm gonna plant this pear tree that I just bought. That's a moon glow. And I just planted this one over here. And man, they said, oh, 25 mile an hour wind. My butt, about 40. And I just planted this one here. And this is a Bartlett. That is also a Bartlett Kiefer moon glow. And then I'm gonna put another moon glow right here. And that's gonna give me a five tree orchard. And just like that, it's planted. Uh, and if you have any kind of deer population at all, you're going to want to spend the money on the good solid tree protectors, not the little junky kind. I mean, a half rack spike buck can rub this tree in one year and just kill it. So there goes your investment. But uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I should probably take that off of there. That's what I paid for it. Moon Glow Pear. To me, they're priceless. I mean, 30 bucks to get years and years and years of fruit and this limb here needs trimmed i'm not going to do it this year i'll wait till the spring or late fall i should say like december and i'll cut that right off but right now i'm not going to do it and stress the plan out there you go five of them suckers Look, I got free cow tails from Steiner. Don't want to be a whiner. If they sponsor me, I won't say that no more. What come first, the nickname or the sponsorship? <laughs> oh, look what just came in the mail. This is the Wix. I showed you this in my video that's uh, titled, My Tractor's Not What I Thought It Was. And I put one of these in my Farmall M sediment bowl. And this is going in the 756 sediment bowl. Oh, I gotta get on this cauldron mulcher real quick. Go try to flatten this out before the rain comes. Wait a minute. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Okay, the batteries are hooked, cables are hooked up this time. This time I'm doing it right. What the hell? Tree branch right in my face. All right, time to play. meticulous about my fields okay and I'm not the type of guy that's gonna see a stone right here and drive by it and call it even no thanks that gets in the combine you're gonna be spending hours trying to beat it out of there and that's what I do I get off throw the rock in the weeds get back on and let's go let's grow oh another rock that's a bigger one there you figure the size of that rock, I mean, it's probably about the size of my hand. 
you know, you're dropping a seed, say it's soybeans, every three inches, that's going to not allow at least two or three plants to grow. These are the combine killers here. These little sandstones. You can pound them out. I always keep a... What are you doing, man? I always keep a uh, ball peen hammer or a small sledge in the uh, combine so I can reach up into feeder housing, feeder throat, and bang them out if they get caught in that chain. Yeah, let's keep going. And you can see the contour lines going this way. Now when I plant, I'm gonna put beans in here. I'm gonna go this way against that contour of the call to altar. I mean, I didn't roll it on the rim or anything, so it's not really a big deal. The tire was wasted anyways. We're still going and growing. Sun's starting to go down, but the day is yet long in my opinion. I think we come over and get on this H, go to the other field and continue to plow. I gotta remember these settings. Six, so I'll drop that down one, and that's on four, so that should be good. Well, I didn't give you the misunderstanding that we were daytime plowing, did I? That would have been a misunderstanding. We're going plowing tonight, and I'm not even worried about getting hurt. Ain't that tough enough? Rolling in fourth gear now. We got places to be, things to do. Now, this goes out to all of you that plowed on a farm all tractor at night until the muffler glowed. You know who you are. Second gear.
they did a tune-up on this H and it got cocky. Now my pull rope got stuck. Oh, that ain't good. It got stuck stuck. There we go. Could untie it up the top, make it a lot easier on me, but that takes the fun out of it. There we go. There we go, and we're ready to grow. That's right, you can see the fur rows. That's right. Digging deep, digging even. And there you get there it is. Oh, uh, these are about six, eight inches going down through here. So you can definitely see the color difference. That's two days ago and that's right now, but uh, I'm gonna keep on a plowing while the going's good. We got rain coming. And I tell you what, this SMV is kinda in the way for the, the work light. Kinda defeats the purpose a little bit, but you'll have that for now. I ain't taking it off. Not now, anyway. Regulators, mount up! little farm all H is a power station. My rope keeps getting caught on that stupid cotter pin. Title of this video is going to be Caught on the Cotter Pin. Because that's twice. And I'm less than impressed. So, off we go here. And this should not be tied to the seat. I am just absolutely saying. Folks at home, don't do this. Get yourself a heavy zip tie. And, uh... Get yourself a heavy zip tie. You can even go to the spring here with a zip come out about yay. I like to hold my left hand. I mean, you don't really have a choice, truthfully. So yeah, here we go. All right. Caught on the cotter. Boy, I'm surprised that penny broke yet. It's certainly not impressive. Yeah, I'm gonna have to replace that in the morning. What it is, there's too much sag in it. Yeah, that ain't gonna get caught there. All right, that should work. Yep, no sag. We're good. Actually, there's a lot of cotter pins I should change out on this. Let's go, let's grow. Red power. There we go. Red power is activated. Well, I plowed for about a good hour. And we're coasting the red diamond into the dock. Hickory dickory dock. And uh, we will fish again tomorrow. Because I heard they're biting. Ain't that tough enough? Ain't that tough enough? Ladies and gentlemen, red power is a go, 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 go.